Hey guys, today I have a matching Inglis washer and electric dryer set. Now this set here is made by Whirlpool and you get these different little surnames depending on which big box store you buy it from. So there's Roper, there's Amana now, um, pretty much all of them are owned by Whirlpool. Even Maytag is owned by Whirlpool now. So anyway, Whirlpool machines, washer here filling up with water. Got a pretty heavy load of um, jeans, towels, shirts, jackets, that kind of thing. And we've got it set to super. Got it on a warm cold, so it's actually using both the cold and the hot water valve together, pulling that water in. Have it set to just a regular cycle. So it's filling up with the water now. I'm gonna show you that it agitates and sounds great while it's doing that, that it drains the water out nice and fast. It'll fill back up with fresh water for the rinse cycle. It'll agitate that for a bit, drain that out, and we'll be onto the final spin, which I'll show you is nice, fast, and smooth. And I've already ran about three or four loads through this. I check all these other cycles as well, make sure everything works perfect on it. Then on the last time I go through, which is now, I do a video. I always post that video up so you know. Get home, plug it in, you're gonna be good to go. Everything works perfect. And then when these clothes are done, we'll move them over to the dryer and I'll show you the electric dryer and that it's heating and sounds great and all that stuff as well. So I'll let that go ahead and finish filling up and I'll come back. Okay, we're back. Filled up with water. You can hear the agitator kicking. And I call it an agitation kick, but essentially what it is, is you can actually hear that agitator moving back and forth. It's like kick on there. Now if you didn't hear that noise, then your agitator is not moving. And on some of the other models, you can actually reach in here and spin them. This one's a solid piece construction, so it does. there's no two parts to check. Uh, as long as you hear that kick noise, you know it's working. If you don't hear the kick noise, you just hear kind of a hum, then your agitator's not working. So something to check always with the machines like this, the direct drives with the center agitators. You wanna make sure that that's working, your clothes are getting moved about and, and um, agitated like they're supposed to, but you can also see plenty of water there. Um, it's full submersion, so it uses a full bucket of water. It doesn't skimp on that. All right, now here we are draining the water out. You hear that drain running nice and fast. And once it's done draining the water out, it'll kick over and start spinning to extract the soapy water. Then it'll fill back up with the fresh water for the rinse cycle. Now moving into that final spin cycle. It's getting up to speed and as it spins and extracts the water out and the clothes get lighter, it spins faster. So it will spin for a few minutes. And what I'm gonna do is lift the lid up. Now it'll shut the machine down, but you'll be able to see as it comes to a stop that it is spinning nice and fast. And from here you can see in here that it sounds great nice, balanced, smooth operation. So let's go ahead and lift that lid up. You always see spinning nice and fast. That emergency switch, lid switch works. Shuts it down if this incidentally gets opened up. So I'll let that go ahead and finish up, spinning those clothes out, and we'll move over to the dryer. Okay, now we've got those clothes moved over to the matching electric dryer. The washer's cleaned out. See a nice uh, super capacity on that one there. Move over. And you've got time dry, air dry, and then an automatic dry. You can control your heat setting. And you've got an on off switch for your cycle signal. That's an uh, excellent feature to have, especially if you have kids sleeping or pets. And then your lint trap here, you wanna make sure that gets changed before each load. And I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. So I've got my temperature gun here, right in between those two red dots. It takes a surface temperature measurement. So about 66 on top of the dryer. It's about 61 on the concrete floor here. So we'll go ahead and open this up. See everything tumbling. And plenty of heat coming out of that heating element grate there. So. This, uh, the heat, heating element's kind of back behind here. The heat pumps up out of this small opening here. 
the air, hot air circulates in the dryer and then exits right there, which is where the lint trap catches it and it goes down out the back of your machine. That's why it's so important to make sure that your lint trap has changed each and every load so you have good, even airflow through here. The inside of your dryer, it's only gonna get up anywhere from about 95 to 195. That just depends on what you have your heat setting as. Uh, but this little grate right here can get pretty, pretty warm as you can see there. But that way, you know, plenty of heat pumping out. You can feel the heat coming out of there. Well, you can't, but I can. Anyway, we'll go ahead and let those finish up, get these listed up for sale. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. But I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks. You guys have a great day.